Jerry Garland, President and CEO of AWG. And uh, i got some good news for you. First of all, I'm going to be short. Uh, and number two, if you're co wearing a coat, take the coat off because it's just too darn hot to have the coats on. So you ought to go ahead and take them off. Um, Scott was sitting down here two years ago, and I didn't realize it took him two years to do this, but two years ago to find us a site that we could distribute groceries out of I 10 corridor from Houston to Tallahassee. Scott wanted to know what his budget was. And I said, well, you don't need a budget because you hadn't got any money. <laughs> so I sent him down here. He drove through the area. He started a lot of economic development areas, a lot of folks in the business. He was most impressed with St. Tammany and the operation and the organization that your officials had here were by far the most outstanding effort that we came in, in contact with. So if you were part of that process that got us here, would you please stand and let us recognize your efforts? Please stand up. You heard the word perseverance. I'm going to add another word to it, teamwork. And it takes a team in order to get this accomplished. And you heard a lot of, of, of suppliers that were mentioned there a few minutes ago. And we have a lot of them in attendance. If you're a supplier to AWG currently, or want to be in the future, please stand with us right now. <laughs> we appreciate that two free cases around for every story. <laughs> you know, we are a co-op. It's unusual. If you're not familiar with co-ops, you hear co-ops, a lot of dairies are co-ops, a lot of liquor companies are co-ops, utilities are co-ops. What does a co-op mean? It means that we are owned by our members. We have over 600 members across the country, the 22 states you talked about, that own stock in AWG. I, as a member of management, the senior member of management, does not own a share of AWG stock. All of our stock is owned by those retailers, and all of our profits go back to make our retailers more competitive in marketplaces that they operate in. We have a lot of services that we have corporately and divisionally and out in each of the divisions that helps support the retailers because our main interest is growing our retailers. Now, Scott has nothing left to do. He was remarking all the free time he had since this project is now off the ground. I'm going to convince Scott to find us 50 new stores to service in the Gulf Coast area, and if we need financing for the doable projects, we're going to get the financing through our financing committee. So I want to announce that today. 50 more stores to Scott. Imagine if you know one independent retailer, you know why they call them independent. <laughs> well, I have 19 of them. Well, I tell you, they're a great group of people. They take off their individual hats because all of them have businesses that depend on them to make money and be profitable. They take off that independent hat and put on the co-op hat when they go into board meetings, and they do things that may not benefit them directly but benefit the whole co-op membership. One such thing is this construction. You know, it's hard to go in and ask for $75 million from your board when they don't see a return on that investment. What they really see, though, is an opportunity to grow AWG to help other independent retailers and to lessen the risk of the whole business and hopefully leverage our $7.5 million to get better pricing for our members to grow their business. So that's where they see the benefit. I'd like to introduce our chairman of the board and our finance committee. Uh, Mr. Bob Huffer, chairman of the board, please stand up. Our vice chair, <laughs> Chuck Burton, Burton Markets, I'm spring from the <laughs> well, Those three guys are serviced out of our, our Springfield facility. And last but not very queen, owner of Price Choppers in Kansas City. <laughs> and these guys all commit a great deal of effort, time, and, and uh, their own involvement in making sure and it's indeed helping the success of AWG and AWG Reef. With that, uh, I tell you, I've been with AWG now for 20 years. I can tell you it's a truly blessed company. Uh, we, we look for leadership in, in a lot of areas, but we know that uh, we're all serving at, at the behest of, of just one entity. 
And I'd like to recognize that entity today, and I'd ask the pastor, Don Bryant from the First Pentecostal Church, to come up and give us an invocation for this groundbreaking. So, Don, are you here? There you are. Put a hat on and get ready. One, two, 